Hello guys, talking about my homemade indoor chronograph lighting today. I was actually a little bit disappointed to discover that they don't work indoors without additional lighting. And I wasn't willing to pay another hundred dollars for the original light bars, so I installed some infrared LEDs. As we'll see in a moment, shooting through here with an air rifle and nothing is detected. Now the sensor and lenses are obviously designed to detect a projectile in this very narrow area covered by the outdoor diffusers. Now let's first find out what kind of sensors they use. There are a few electronic boards inside the chronograph with two black lens housings and underneath are the sensors. These are photo transistors and in this case here the one they used was the BPW77NA two of them and if we have a look at the data sheet it says it would be sensitive to visible light but its peak sensitivity is at 850 nanometer as seen here in the lower, uh, lower right graph and this is near infrared there are several possibilities where to get these LEDs and for next day delivery I chose DigiKey for ease of assembly I chose through hole components but SMD components would work also of course the angle is not that important what is important is the the right wavelength of 850 nanometer here I drilled some holes in the middle of the diffusers to cover most of the area underneath them with infrared light you don't have to do this of course, you can mount them any way you want and if you have a chance to put something that scatters the light like a thin frosted plastic sheet or something like that, that would probably even be better uh, I then installed 12 LEDs for each receiver more would be better, but for my needs that was enough so I have 2 times 12 LEDs in series with a 120 ohm resistor in series so that's 50 milliamps for every LED at about 24 volts they emit in the near infrared and appear to be dimmed red if you look at it if you look at them um, but the camera will see them as white as you can see here while testing it I saw some slight variations depending on where exactly I shot through but the main problem is due to dead spots the nearer you come to the LEDs and this is obvious because there's no light coming from the area in between the LEDs so the area 100% covered is near the sensors and the more LEDs you put in there the more area will be covered uh, never mind that this one here is drawn for 9 LEDs only I have 12 installed but there are still dead spots the nearer you come to the diffusers and the coverage might be better if an infrared light source would be mounted some centimeters above the diffusers actually but as I said uh, this setup here is good enough for me to confirm the accuracy of the chronograph under these conditions I compared its result with two light barriers mounted at 33.24 mm dist distance and shooting through them gives me 257 microseconds which is equal to 129 meter per second uh, so that's very similar to what the chronograph measured yeah that's it folks uh, thanks for watching and um, see you next time